Football Fan TV here with Leon McKenzie. Listen, superhuman I call this guy. <laughs> Not only did he used to play professional football and still got it, well, I'm watching him out there today, but also now professional boxer who just won a title the other day. I mean, right, yeah. how do you do that? I mean, I know about this boxing game. That's a tough game. How do you it's, do it? Uh, it's just, I suppose genetically special. I guess that's the only thing I can put it down to. Um, no, I look after it, myself. Yeah, you're, 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 and and yeah, they're both, they were both fighters as well. Both fighters. Both just champions. Just look after myself and, you know, I'm, I'm uh, determined to obviously achieve what I, I want to achieve in life and mm. I just do the best to do that. But the training must be so much different to football. Football training, it you're is. training I with mean, lots of other people. Boxing. It was lovely to get out there and play today. I was obviously, mm. it's, it's little glimpses with me. Like, I don't... You know, like I've some, certain things, my body's twitching, and I'm like, "Oh, like what, what was that?" <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, you know, that's why I obviously I'll leave leave the football alone. But it's different. It's different training, um, you know. But it's just nice to know that give, give and take, I can still hit the back of the net. <laughs> yeah. It was nice to, to, to you know be on the score sheet with, with, you know, I call him the king. Did you know? Mm. Be on the score sheet with the king. Mm. You know, and that's it, that's something else. A lot of a lot of ex-players and, and players even now that I speak to. Right, say, particularly black players say that Ian Wright's one of the inspirations. He inspired a lot of um, guys to get into the game. That's right. Well, Ian Wright, um, since I was a kid, when I was at Crystal Palace, you know, we used to speak a lot mm. and he used to nurture me and, and speak to me and give me advice and everything else. And pretty much all throughout my career, he was always sort of like that phone call way. And, um, mm. you know, he'd tell me certain things and I try and work on certain things and mm. you know it, it was just brilliant to have you know and I, I looked up to, up to him as a kid and then do you know what I'd done the best I could mm. not to his levels but I'd done the best at Neil McKenzie to could and then that playing mm. top level football I scored you know best part of over 100 goals mm. and played 18 years at a top level mm. I, I can't complain and I mean? now a boxer and now a boxer with... Who's with not just like out there just... Nah, I'm doing my you, thing. You're right doing now. incredible, innit? Yeah, I'm doing my thing. It's, uh, we've got a massive fight coming up on July the 4th. Mm. It's a British title eliminator. And, um, you know, I win that. Again, we, we're kicking on levels, up in levels. You know, I'm, I'm seven undefeated. Mm. I'm 37 next month. You don't look it. So, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, like I say, genetically special. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you one final yes, one sir. on the boxing. Yeah. Mayweather, Mayweather or Pacquiao? Yeah, I'm going to go for Mayweather. Just, again, because of just the way he is. Mm. I think Pacquiao, with the style of the come forward and uh, fast attacks, mm. I think it would be all wrong for him. Um, Mayweather would just roll that shoulder and just pick mm. him off and it, he'd be too smart. Mm. Well, listen, good luck with a boxing career. Boxing, football... MP next, maybe? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> There's only so many things you can do in life, but I'm, I'm trying to do my thing. Look, this one is kind of special, mate. I'm a little girl's a bit excited, got their little kits on.